Welcome to Art Forms. I'm Hunter Johnson, and we're really fortunate today to have a contemporary artist and papermaker by the name of Yoshio Ikazaki here with us today. He's going to demonstrate how to make paper and then also do some of his art. And uh, welcome to the show, Yoshio. Good Thank you very you. much. For Glad you could come. Thank you. And uh, you, you're a paper maker. You start right. from scratch. Uh huh. And might explain a little bit about. Yeah. Um, this uh, paper making uh, method is almost 1,300 years old. Um, it was invented in China, through Korea, and to Japan. It was like a seventh century that came to Japan. Since we are developing the techniques and. Uh, um, make various kinds of papers dealing with uh, uh, material called Kozo. Kozo. K-O-Z-O. Also we have uh, uh, Gampi and Mitsumata. Those three is the main paper making uh, material. That's Gampi. Now what is Gampi? Well, Gampi is uh, uh, one of the three uh, tree bars, but those papers uh, is very good for uh, prints, you know, very particular use. But the Kozo is more like Almost 80 percent of Japanese uh, uh, paper they produce today are made out of kozo. It's a mulberry fibers. Mulberry fibers. Mm -hmm. Is it the bark or is it the yeah? It's a bark. Tree? It's a bark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they grow every year like a six to seven feet tall, and then cut it off from the bottom, and they stem them and then strip the bark mm -hmm. from the uh, pulp, and w so which they, they steam like it and strip the bark, and you have some. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, of the pulp here? Right. This is uh, an already cooked uh, fiber that I, a cozo fiber that I prepared today. And, uh, Can we touch it? Yeah, sure. Um, and uh, you have to cook with soda ash for two or three hours uh -huh. and make that fiber very soft mm -hmm. and uh, separable, you know. So today I like to give you uh, demonstrations Good. of how papers are made from this type of fibers. They're quite different from Western paper making. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have about 10 to 13 different processes to uh, make one sheet of paper. Now you've made all sizes of paper. I know I've yes. seen some of your papers that are mm -hmm. like 20, 30, 40 feet yeah, wide. Yeah, very, very and big. About this thick. thick. Yes. Those are very special way to make, and um, and you make it in big vats, and you have people walking in them. Yeah, that's a little different from this method. You have a vat full of, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it can be made in that size. That's my, uh, you know, way of direction of making artworks with a large size. Well, go ahead and show us how you. Okay. Do it. Well, Let's get started. So you know, if we I assume help, that uh, yeah, we assume that um, fibers are cooked, mm -hmm. and then. I sh fiber more finer. This also depends on how much you separate. You know, um, this whole process involved with the result of the papers, how paper appear. So, if you less cooking, less beating, less mixing, makes that paper much more fibrous, stringier. You know, and if you precisely doing everything, you won't see the fiber. You know, too much fibers. That's how. So I'm just going to um, do this much so that, uh, you know, fibers are pretty um, stringy, but at the same time it's good. And I like to do a little bit more adjusting with a final touch. Okay. And now, um, <coughs> let me introduce uh, this Japanese mode. Um, this is a very well-made Japanese mold that, maybe this is probably small, but the very well-made ones. Uh, traditional set is like this, and this is a weaved bamboo with a certain quality of a thread. Um, sometimes, when in, in old time, it, those thread made out of a horse tails hair, but nowadays they use, um, you know, silk and synthetic things. But that's hundreds of thousands of very small stripped 
bamboo weaved in certain way. This is a art piece of art itself. At uh, nowadays, we don't have many people to make something like this. And um, this, um, you know, a little small, but I can probably do with this, and then I'll do demonstration in here. And uh, Japanese way, you know, since you added the mucilage, it's important that uh, when you do this, and then you slosh, you move your hands, and then you slosh the frames to make papers. So since the mucilage are added and uh, drainage from the bottom are very much controlled so that you have a time to do this. Four to five times and uh, you can make papers. Okay. And um, I just opened up here uh, you can see or not, this is the uh, papers, uh, layer of papers is in front of this. And uh, you transfer this to the surface. <coughs> Since, well, this is a uh, cloth that I, I put it on, so it's a little difficult to maybe separate them. First sheet is a really d difficult to separate them, you know. Um, so, Oops. fascinating. Yeah. Then, do like Quite this. A process. See, this is the uh, one oh, sheet. Amazing, beautiful. Yeah. Since I came to this country, um, you know, uh, Yoshio, Kizaki. About a minute left. We're here with Yoshio Ikizaki. He's doing traditional art. Uh, looks like bamboo we're gonna see and we'll have more of him on some future shows. And I'd like to thank Yoshio for being here with us today on Art Forums and just giving us a demonstration on paper making and now he's doing his uh, traditional art on the paper with ink. like to thank you for being with us and uh, you can just keep keep on Yoshio down here keep showing what he's doing and we'll just uh, go out on the on this Well, I, you know, just did very simply, but... Very beautiful. Something like that. Very beautiful. Thank you for mm. being with us, well, Yoshio. We hope to see you, you again soon. I appreciate you your coming on the show. Thank you.